there is somebody that is trying to get in the way of your goal. I'm going to tell you who. Fred Moore here with Do So Much More. Who is this mystery person? You can probably guess it's you. I know, it sounds kind of crazy, right? I mean, you have a goal, why would you, why would you try to sabotage yourself, right? Don't set yourself up for failure, okay? Don't do that. Don't set yourself up for failure. Now, how did we do this? Well, we make unrealistic goals or we set unrealistic deadlines. Now, I'm not saying that you know you shouldn't set goals, you shouldn't set deadlines, but I want you to be smart about it, okay? If your goal is to lose 20 pounds by tomorrow, it's probably not gonna happen. The only way I know to lose 20 pounds by tomorrow is to like chop off a limb or go gambling in the UK. Because they have pounds for money. You get it? Because, okay, fine. But see, so many people do this, right? And their heart is in the right place. They're not trying to set themselves up for failure, but they're thinking, all right, I'm gonna set a big goal and I wanna make sure I get this big goal so I'm gonna give myself a deadline and I'm gonna make this deadline soon so I get this big goal and I feel so much better. And then all this work I've been doing will be over sooner, right? That way I don't have to work that hard because I'll have my goal, I'll be happy, right? They set themselves up for failure. And I think subconsciously maybe the reason they're doing this is because they know somewhere in their brain that this is not going to happen. So they have an excuse. Now, look, I tried it, but it didn't work. This stuff doesn't work for me. All right, well, I guess I'll just give up on my goal, huh? No. If you set yourself up for a failure, then you're setting yourself up for a failed life. And why would you do that? I mean, why would you not want to get all the things that you want out of life? I know it seems very contrary, but it's that lizard part of your brain, the one that's resisting all this work that you're going to have to do. Because see, nobody else does that, so why should you do it, right? Nobody else in the world is working this hard to get their goals. Why should you do that? Well, that's exactly why you should do it, all right? Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't listen to that inner voice of self-doubt. Don't set those unrealistic goals. Look at it logically. Think about it. Show these goals to some friends, some, some good friends, some, some business partners. Just send them to me. I don't care. Show me these goals. Show these people these goals and ask them, do you think that this is possible? Do you think it's realistic? Right now, you have to be careful because you might have those negative Nancys or negative Nates. I don't want to be, you know, gender biased or anything. That might go, well, you won't be able to do that. Yeah. Don't set yourself up for failure. And if you don't do that, then guess what? You're going to do so much more. Hey, I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please go ahead. Hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Hit the like button if you're anywhere else in the social media world. Share the love with your friends, too. And together we will all do so much more.